everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we are at Itaba Itabania? Itabiana? Hope I got that right. Anyway, uh, we're at the same planet still. Let's go back to the star map here and have a quick look. Uh, we are on our way to the front lines here. Uh, looks like Jade Falcon is doing a really great job. Um, and we're going to go take a mission here today first before we jump because there's a uh, priority mission here we can take that's going to be uh, good for us to do. Uh, and then we will jump out of here. We're going to need sea bills because um, we have four mechs now, inner sphere mechs with Klein XL engines in them that we need to get upgraded for our second lance, the Black Knight Lance. Let's have a look here. So we'll be running four Black Knights, or three Black Knights and an Exterminator. Uh, once again, like I said, we they all have Clan XL engines in them already, so they are ready to go and outfit. Uh, so hopefully they won't cost too much. Most likely the Black Knights will cost between, I don't know, 500 and a million sea bills, depending on what we load them out with, and the Exterminator is probably around four to seven, four to 800,000 depending on what we put on them. So uh, we're going to need a little bit of sea bills. Plus our financial report is being increased here to 1.2 million. So we have to keep our eye on that. Okay, so first things first, let's look at uh, the contracts. I'm going to jump right into one here. So let's go do this. We've got Broken Chain. Now this is, um, it's a priority, but I believe it's a destroyed base. Um, let's go back here. Logistical base, yeah. Thousand tons of armored munitions. Um, strike this base will seriously hinder the Cretan forces. Possibly, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Let's either capture or destroy the base. So we'll have no problem. Be well armed resistance, but, you know, we're well armed as well. So let's accept this sucker. Come on. You know you want to. Here we go. All right. So there's our loadout, um, and I believe we will go this route since we don't really have any choice. Uh, Hannibal the Cannibal is the leader of the second lance. Yeah, so I think, yeah, let's go this route. I think we're good. So let's deploy and get this sucker done. Okay. Okay. This mission, this dirty. map is bad for this mission, especially at this weight class. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should be okay. Really depends on what they decide they want to throw up against us. But I'm hoping we can pull off. Hopefully there's an assault mech here we can get some parts from. Get another assault mech back. We seem to be stalled out at the 75 ton range. Um, more ER larges. Let's get in here. We got the range on these guys, so... We can probably pull down turrets and, v and mechs really quickly. What do we got here? A Zeus. Okay. I don't know if they can see us. Alright, what else do we got here? Sabukukazi, Assassin, and Gemji. Okay, so most likely they have hardcore turrets uh, and they will be getting a second lance. Um, this guy's got to get within range. So, let's maximize our salvage off this if we can okay tags are on Waiting for order. I don't think these guys are ever gonna see us I mean I could be wrong but 37 left eh let's target the other leg alright one hit I need you to attack this guy. Um, we can't we can't offensive push him.
Let's apply a little bit of damage to this guy. I don't want to take the, the risk of destroying that Zeus before we get salvage. I feel ways I feel really safe standing back here, so um, not really worried about that. Warning. Well, Enemy well, they can see us. Detected. They can see us. That's the Zeus. Yeah, it's just got to the Gemji. Tag on. They've got a sensor lock on me. Okay, those are the turrets. All right, we need to get in there. I don't know what turret fired. Long time artillery. Okay. Standing by. I need that long time gone, please. Thank you. Thank you. 300 round. 300, eh? There's at least half. Orders. Um. Ah. Uh. Commander. KSP. Let's go against this guy. I'm saving ammo because if we get hardcore reinforcements, we're going to need it. Um, can I count on Rhino? Oh, God. Let's multi target this. Doing it this way because if I can't pinpoint the legs on that guy, I don't want to shoot him at all. Okay, there goes the long time. Gimji crab, gimji crab. Distance holding. Oh, Zeus is finally moving. Thank you for the assist. Damage is light. See if we can pull that leg off. Oh, they got some good speed to them, though. So before we move in on this base, I want to pull down these all these guys. Those turrets didn't shoot us, which probably means we're outside of their range. Ready for orders. Position confirmed. Okay. 31, eh? Take a shot at this guy's leg. Copy that. There we go. Have a seat, buddy. Critical hit you look tired. Down. Take the nesty plunge. Uh-huh. Well, I was completely wrong about that, but... Yeah. Freaking sniper. Well, good thing we got long-range weapons. You need to go first. Roger.
Let's rack this guy down. I want him out of here. Got it. Thank you. Hostile eliminated. Standing by. That sniping turret is uh, is annoying me. Can you please remove that sniper turret, please? Yeah, three hits, nice. I think you uh, you need to be on the sniper turret too, please. Uh, but we've got to multi this, I think. Go against the vehicle as well. That should be more than enough. Nice. I thought for a second there we missed. I didn't see anything flying and I'm like, uh-oh. That could be bad. Receiving. Heading out. Stability back. Should be able to pull this leg off him. I copy. There we go. Oh, we got the torso. Crap. One less target. Some kind of cluster ammo. Let's remove this guy, please, and thank you. Enemy unit destroyed. I think we, once we get to a certain point, they're most likely going to drop reinforcements. I think he's got SRM 2s that's what he's shooting at us. Huh. Got it. Sure. Nicely done. Commander? Raw. I'm there. What do we got? Chance to hit. 74. Let's just open up on him. Going down. Can we please make sure the assassin parts aren't cluttering up our loot table? Acknowledged. Thank you. He says then goes for the head. That hit something good. I don't know why I did that. Just because. My guys don't listen to me anyway. What the hell? Waiting for orders. Okay, did I see? I thought there was a way we could target that turret. Oh, there is. Full speed. And Full this turret. turret. So what do we got here? Heavy turret chassis. Have no idea. Shredder's been hitting us, most likely with uh, cluster AC twos. Oh, nice shooting. Can you please follow that up, Griff? I want that turret gone. Please remove this. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Goodbye. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you can just probably turn that off for now. What do we got left here? Like nothing. There we go. Your cheeky breaky eyes are off. Now we should be able to get freaky with these guys. Hit this guy. Standing by. No point in sprinting. No point in sprinting. Okay, firing. See ya. Alright, base is wide open. Let's finish this up, guys. Let's get ourselves into a position so that when reinforcements do arrive, which I gotta 
feeling they most likely will. Once we get close enough, they will. We're in a good position for them. Alright, we can see the base now. Just in case we miss one. Put you way over here. Firing. Affirmative. I'm saving the racks. We got enough. We got enough uh, damage potential here with the, everybody else. We don't necessarily need to go with the racks. So on this map, reinforcements come in from here. I'm sure you guys all know that. So I'm just preparing. Just in case. Unlikely now, though. Looks like that's going to be it. Got it. And that's all. Roger. Get your lamp to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. Oh, they do have reinforcements. See? Waiting for orders. Let's get in behind the rock here. Warning. Enemy reinforcements. Uh-huh. See? Eh? Told ya. Alright, what do we got? Oh, they got some good stuff here. Exterminator. Dire Wolf, Lone Wolf. Arbiter. And Vulpes. So they're most likely going to have good eyes on. We got to get the frig out of the out of the water here. Let's take our first turn positioning, I think. Big guns. I don't see no big guns. Big guns would you be referring to? The dire wolf? The arbiter? Not the arbiter. On the move. Full speed. Um, let's just pot shot this guy. Start a little bit of fire back there. Give them a backdrop for which to walk in from. Make them look all cool. Come on. There we go. Um. Ready for orders. Oh man, what do we want to do here? On my way. Chance to hit's pretty low. Style this to three. Just take some pot shots. For an okay, tag hit. Yes, Commander. I guess out of everything, that's the most important. Yeah, just pot shots. Another tag. Another tag. Grief. Uh, let's reserve. I don't know where that dire wolf's going. It's got me worried here. You need to sprint your ass over here. So we're going to have to go against some clan units still. Hate to go against Falcon, but we had no choice. Until Ghost Bear arrives, it's going to be uh, Jade Falcon we got to go against. We need parts, man. We need parts. I don't want to buy them. Ah, there's the sacrificial lamb. We needed somebody. Pretty good chances to hit. We're just going to shoot though. Standing by. The 
reason why I didn't Warlord that is I'm saving it for the Direwolf. I know some people say don't save it, but there's those times when you absolutely have to. And I think we come up from the side on this guy. Direwolf can't come around the front of us, so... Uh, what do we got in the leg left here? Let's OP that leg. There we go. Critical hit, Commander. Sacrifice. Commander. Let's get in from here. I copy. Let's just remove this guy. Let's go to four. Thank you. Target eliminated. Ready for orders. Just come around here for now. On my way. Let's let Don't them move out. The Arbiter and the Vulpes will most likely pull out. And there we go, there's our next sacrifice. Somebody's got a rack five. What's our chance to hit on this guy? Uh, grip better move. We didn't get any, uh, I guess not. Moving only one hex is not going to get us much, uh, evasion. Although it gives us a hell of a lot better chance to hit, though. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. Now what do you got? Send that Arbiter out as a scout. No, he's not coming anywhere. He's, he's not stupid. <laughs> he's like, send the Dire Wolf. Send that Dire Wolf, man. I'm going to reserve it right back. Come on. We're waiting for you guys. Standing by. Oh. Commander. Waiting for orders. Well, he's not moving, eh? Fire at him. Standing by. Heading out. Ooh, that's a really good chance to hit with the rack. Let's dial it up. Warlord it. Get some more damage on this guy. And fire. Aye, aye. Now, uh, look to me. No, I thought he was hitting the head. Let's just shoot him. Oh, Griff. You cheeky bugger, yeah. Yeah, we can't get lucky twice in a row. We had to try. We had to try. No, I think we just shoot him. Got 
Gotta land some shots on this guy. Huh. Location confirmed. All weapons are go. He's getting the racks, by the way, that guy. Playing the missile game. Because why not? There you go. Good to go. Let's show this guy what friggin' auto cannons look like, buddy. Let's show him. That's how you use a fucking auto cannon. One less target. Thank you. Mission successful. All right, five hundred and one thousand. Nice. That'll help us with repairs. Uh, look at the kills. Griff, man. Long range battle, and then Timberwolf too. The large lasers not holding their holding their share. We're gonna have to go back, I think. Go back and reanalyze these guys. I know we got to get another Ultra 20. It's definitely what we need on this one. We're out of Ultra 20s, so I don't know what we're going to do. Alright, let's have a look here. I cannot believe... Oh my god. Guess what, guys? Guess what mech we just picked up? You got that right, a dire wolf. Uh, LVX 20. Oh my god, I cannot believe we just picked up a dire wolf. Rack 5. That's a possibility. We just got a dire wolf. Oh, let's get the C bills. Let's go all in for the C bills. Yeah, that, that's it. That's, that's what it is. Oh shit, what's this? Impact resistant. Reduced melee damage taken. Reduction against critical hits. Well, that's kind of nice, but not really what we need. Nova CEWS. Oh well, you know what? We'll be pulling the we're gonna be pulling the grasshopper out of this out of this lance anyway. Now that we've got the uh, direwolf. Uh, react. Look at all this stuff here. Holy crap. Supercharger. If that direwolf wasn't there, we'd be like loaded with stuff here. Alright, let's confirm. Alright, assassin part. One, two, three, f wait. One, two, three, four, five. Am I counting wrong here? Two, four, six, seven. We've got all the direwolf parts. Crab parts, Vulpes part. Three, four Zeus parts. Oh my god. Four Zeus X parts. I don't know if we have any other Zeus parts, but wow. ER large, kind of nice. Me impulses. We got tons of those. Plus two, that's nice. Supercharger, awesome. That's freaking awesome. We know where that's going. It's going to go in the Dire Wolf. And it looks sweet. Okay, cool. I'm so glad we got that second Lance in. That's really, really awesome. There it is, folks. Oh, yes. 1. 150,000, that's not bad. Not bad at all, 11 days to repair. Let's take a look at this dire wolf though. Good thing we're on a clan planet. Because we can, first First thing I want to do is I want to sell a double XL engine. I know people like me to hold on to it, but it's just, you know, it's just one way for me to just lose a mech right off the bat. All right, um, selling. Then we'll check the faction store. I want to see what's here. I think I already have, but we'll double check. Uh, we're going to go right to here. And where are you here? Most likely at the bottom because that's how it do. All right. Uh, yeah, 2.6 million. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
All right, let's have a look here. Faction store real quick. Sorry, guys, I'm just taunting you now. Um, nothing here we want. Nope. It's got all Inner Sphere stuff, which is... I know they're still working on the faction stores, but, you know, come on. All right, uh, Mech Maze. Dire Wolf. So, I may want to pull... Well, I guess we can pull the Stormcrow Prime out of service now. Um, I was leaving it in, but I don't think we need it here anymore. I was thinking about just dropping the Exterminator, but we've already spent so much money on it, putting that XL engine in, that we need to kind of, like, leave it. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Fire control... Look at this thing. Fire control system, hyper assault, goss. Plus two accuracy with Gauss rifles. Minus one recoil with Gauss weapons. All right. We got nothing, pretty much. LBX-20. Upper recoil, that's kind of nice. Patchwork materials. All right. Totem sensors. Increase resolve gain for Lance members. Provides a stacking bonus of one to sensors checks made by the units. There's really nothing. Plus two initiative cockpit. 20% Gauss rifle damage. Whoa. Stealth clan too, eh? It didn't help it out. It didn't help it out against us. But sure. Um so we've got <laughs> we've got a Gauss rifle mech. Let's pull the patchwork out for now. It's got a built-in Nova CWS. Yes, please. Thank you so much. I'll take that any day. All right, ballistics. Let's see what we got here. I, mean, I haven't been really selling a lot of ballistic weapons. All the inner sphere stuff is gone, so all we're left with is um, clan stuff here, mostly. I mean, I kept a couple of things, sniper and sniper and rack 20, but... We got three of these. Not like we could actually go with three. I mean, we probably could. Why is it our heat efficiency just dropped a huge amount? <laughs> it seems like kind of a waste of a mech, though, with three Gauss rifles. But it's 20% increase in damage, so we're looking at, so 75, we're looking at, what, another 12, so 87 damage each. We do have these hyper assault Gauss rifles too. Damage fall off. Falls off to 65% of its starting value. At range. Um, three times five. I guess it depends on how many you fire. Um, We could put both Sniper and Thumper in this thing. Put one on each arm. Will they fit? No, it's got to go in the torso. It won't even go in the torso. It won't fit. Oh, the Thumper will, though. Thumper in a Rack 20. I'm just messing around. Uh, we could go with a Nasty Ultra 5 build. It gets, negates this Gauss accuracy and damage, but I don't... Seems like a waste, though. Seems like a waste. Um, this doesn't give us a bonus damage. So, what will we have for backups here? 
Range finder. We don't have much right now, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about the build. Throwing it out there, guys. Let me let me know what you think. What are we gonna do with this guy? Gonna leave the upper re well, let's pull the upper recall for now. Um Armor is already maxed out, it looks like, pretty much. We could just forego the whole Gauss rifle build. Because with like 50 tons of available space. Can we add... Um, can't add any endo. And I don't think we can get rid of the stealth either. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely a lot of possibilities. I think if we want to keep this guy cool, it's got to go ballistic. So maybe the Gauss rifles are good. I've never really played around with hyper assault Gauss rifles. They just... I don't know. I don't know. There's something about them when I read the description. It just doesn't seem like it's... It's the same thing when you read the... Um, the description for the LBXs. It's like scattering damage. I mean, this guy was shooting LBXs at us, and it's just not... I mean, I know you can load slug ammo, so you can fire a, um, a slug round. Because, I mean, we could load this thing down with, like, LBXs. we got six fives. Two in each torso, one in each arm, and then go with something else. That's 36 tons, plus a ton of ammo each, probably. Well, we wouldn't need a ton each. We could probably get away with four tons of ammo. That's 10 turns of continuous fire. Then we have to decide whether it's going to be um, maybe like one slug or two slug and two uh, LBX cluster ammo. get more accuracy and stuff with these. Uh, what's the range of the LBX? 810 meters. It's pretty respectable. Minimum range of 90, but our pilots won't have an issue with that. We're already looking at 1.1 million just to repair what we've got already. Uh, yeah, I mean, or we could, like I said, we could go the Ultra build, Ultra 5s. Just go all Ultra 2s. We could fit how many in here? Eight, probably, with some ammo. That's 400 damage if everything hits. A lot of recoil, though. Three jam multiplier. What's the recoil on this thing? No recoil? Huh. It's a lot of rounds that could fire. We could put a ballistic fire control system in it. Um, the enhanced imaging to reduce recoil and increase accuracy. This is kind of nice. But we replace it with something better. I don't know. Let me know what you think. We're going to fix it though, for sure. Can't not fix it. We're wasting time here. Let's get into some combat. Man, that's a nice that's a nice get on this one. Now, I just cannot get overconfident with this thing. Um, I got overconfident when we had that last... The... Uh, the last hundred tonner and it cost us so I'm gonna have to make sure we don't get overconfident with this guy uh, let's get is there a way we can get these back any faster you know what let's bring the dire we're gonna jump plan let's bring the dire wolf up anyway uh, that's six days so three be finished and this one will go in the four so six days for this lance to come back which is fine 
Uh, five days of the financial report, so no big deal. We got the C-bills. Let's jump then. You know what? Uh, let's go after... I hate to say this. Let's go after some clan... Yeah, we fortified that to 102. Let's find a four skull planted along here somewhere and take some missions against Jade Falcon. I hate to say it. There we go, Asgard. Let's go to Asgard. Draconis Combine, 124%. 10 days. We're going to be helping them out, but not much we can really do about that. Let's just go there. We got to get clan gear. Sad to say, but we got to get clan gear. Okay, we're doing okay Seabill wise. Oh, I can't wait to get that Timberwolf into battle. I don't know though, I think it's going to have to be an autocannon build. We're just not going to be able to sink the heat on it. We don't have a lot of space in there. Waypoint reached, Commander. Thank you. Now, we can't sell stuff here, so we've got to make sure we don't waste our sea bills while we're here. Uh, unless we somehow flip the planet, but it's unlikely. All right, let's have a look at the contracts, and then we'll take a look at the pilots real quick. Um, well, a lot of Falcon missions here. Oh, yeah, I guess we shouldn't have come here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was thinking, never mind. Um... I was thinking it's a Creator planet. There's got to be Creator missions there, for, and I'm just I'm still shocked that we've actually got the dire the dire wolf. I wasn't thinking that we should be going to a clan planet to take those missions, but not much I can really do about that now. All right, Gaucho, uh, let's leave you for now. Griff, I gotta get that second lance going, man. I hear ya. Do you? Do you hear me? Commander. Judge, let's leave you for now. Mockingbird, you're almost done, girl. Almost. Order. Rhino. No, What's six up, pack. Want to go guts? Plus twenty overheat threshold. No, I think we're gonna save it for gunnery. Save you for gunnery. All right. Um, let's see if we got anything against the clans here. Probably not. Uh, no Karita. Okay, so what about Untouchable? Seven twenty nine. Oh, it's target acquisition. Forget you. Monetary government, there's nothing here. Alright, well, let's find a clan for a skull planet then. Could always just jump back. I don't want to wreck Jade Falcon's holding on any of these planets though. It's only two skull. Two and a half, two and a half. Oh, come on, it gotta be something. Yeah, we barely hold that planet, though. Doing a nice job pushing in here, guys. Gotta say. Doing a nice job pushing. Draconis Combine, Jade Falcon, and Comstar. It's right on the front lines. Three and a half skull. What's this one? No, Comstar, four skulls. Trolloc Prime! Trolloc Prime! Do we want to go there? Nah. I don't want to go to a lunar environment. Come on, make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. Three skull. I, oh, remember these are all like low skull on here. Maul. Jade Falcon 109. Let's go there. 13 days. Calculating course now, Commander. Doesn't matter who we're going for. There's the dire wolf back. Oh my god. Salivating to get that thing into battle now. No thanks to the black markets. All right. Um, I can't think of what else, what other build we should put on that thing. Maybe we should just. I mean, it is the clan mech. Maybe we just try a bunch of stuff. Start off with just like the Hyper Assault Goss Rifles just to see what they can do. 
maybe we take I don't know route like you know four skull missions just to see what it'll do and then we switch it up to the LBX twos or something or ultra twos you know we just tried a bunch of different stuff out just to see what sticks that's a possibility there's a rack too I mean, Rack 2 seem underpowered for a 100 ton mech, though. But if you had a lot of them, there's an Ultra 5. How many of these we got? We got six Ultra 5s, so we don't need any of those. <laughs> We're looking for those in my other series, though. Um, Fair Lamellar. Omnipod Hand. LBX. We got lots of LBX. We got lots of Ultra Auto Cannon ammo, right? We got five. That's probably plenty. Yeah, we got the sea bills just in case we plan on going that route. Just so we have some. And let's grab the half ton as well. Really shouldn't be doing this right now. Uh, LBX. LK ammo. Are we using this elsewhere? New equipment available. I like having this in the roster. You never know when you're going to use it, right? Uh, okay, so contracts. Are there any Jade Falcons acting out of line around here? Probably. We'll have to take care of those guys. Um, barracks and then come back. Contracts. Alright, what do we got here? Pulling linchpins. Capture base. There we go. Jade Falcon. Four skulls. These guys have been acting naughty. So we need to go ahead and uh, remove them. So let's do that. Alright, let's capture this base. Okay. I find this a fun map to play on. I've taken some severe damage on this map before, but had some really good success on this map. Um, so while we're moving up here, uh, I just want to mention, I did mention this on the Night Witches series, which I recorded earlier today, um, that, um, wait a minute, can we get down off there? We can't. Let's just stay over here. Um, on the move. that my, uh, Minecraft Invasion series is just paused for a moment, uh, and the reason for that is I just don't have time to record, um, three different episodes a night. Uh, normally I batch record that. Um, but this weekend was um, a lot of stuff was going on. Um, my youngest, like I said, has got a part in... Ooh, Evan Jaguar. Interesting. My youngest has got a part in a TV series, so we had to go uh, do some, some uh, fittings and stuff this weekend on Sunday, on Mother's Day. Plus it was Mother's Day too, right? So, uh, but anyway... Um, so I didn't get a chance to record much on the weekend. Ooh, three to four. Um, so yeah, I will be continuing with it. Most likely there's only about another five episodes left in that series anyway. Uh, but still, I will be um, continuing with it, just not right away. I just don't have the ability to record three episodes a night. And that's, you know, two, two Battletech episodes plus the... Uh, ooh, we got the leg. Two Battletech episodes plus the Invasion series. And I want to keep the Battletech series going because I really enjoy playing. I mean, I love the Minecraft as well. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I do love um, playing the Invasion series. It's just that uh, Battletech I like a little bit more right now. And I also play... Um, it's funny because when I... Um, there we go. When I finish up uh, recording the episodes... For the evening, um, what I normally end up doing is switching over to, uh, while I'm exporting, I switch over and play Minecraft. Hyper Assault Gauss, Hyper Assault Gauss, eh? A little bit better chance to hit the turret. Actually not. It's firing this guy. Nice, tag on. Um, yeah, so I n normally I'll, while I'm, um, like I, I record these episodes, right, and put them into Premiere, cut them real fast, get set them to export, and while they're exporting, um, 
I'll switch over and play Minecraft. The reason why I don't re record that is because it can be laggy sometimes when I'm exporting stuff. So I, I won't record an episode while I'm exporting, um, just because I want I don't want it to be laggy and stuff. So um, plus I don't always have enough time to do that. Uh, let's get what's this guy again? Royal Demon. It's a royal demon. Rolling. Let's target the Thunderbolt. He's really the threat. He's got a rack five. Okay, okay, start. Yeah, so I won't I won't record um I won't record when I'm exporting. But yeah, once I get it exported then I just go right to uh to the upload and go to bed. So even if I did record an episode, I wouldn't be able to edit it and get it out for the next day. I'd be a day behind. Not that it makes that much difference. Um, I want this vehicle gone, so let's do this. Let's remove it from battle if we can. Jesus, really, buddy? Really? Stacking us up. Let's get it out of here. Enemy unit destroyed. Grip don't miss. Um, anyway, that's why I don't... Uh, that's why I can't get another episode out for those. So this weekend, though... Ah, uh, crap. This weekend, though, I will be recording a few. Um, and like I said, there's only really about um, like another five episodes left of that series. I want to do another one right afterwards. Um, uh, what do we want to do here? Mm, I think we just want to shoot this guy. He does have a rack, though. Well, let's just shoot him. Roger. There goes the PPC. Um, but I do re re want to record another invasion series. This one I'm doing right now. We're um, right on the coast. Which minimizes... Oh, fuck. Why is it whenever I gain a mech, I lose one? You notice that? It's like a fucking trade-off. They're, they're rail, both railguns. And a thumper. Fuck you all. Roger. Kill this guy, please. Um, anyway, so I want to do another series where we're not actually right by the water. Thank you. Um, that way, it's going to be constant mob attacks. It's so much. It's so much more difficult when you don't uh, build your base by the coast. Because when you're building building your base by the coast, half the mobs, or more than half the mobs that spawn, I'd probably say 75 to 90 percent of the mobs that spawn are piranhas, which don't attack your base, right? So, oh, screw you guys. So it's far more difficult when you build your base in land, which is what we're going to do next time. Oh, God. Can we... Where else can we see this guy from? Any way we go, the rail guns will see us. Let's go over here. Ah, firing. Ready for orders. So yeah, I'm interested in trying to get that uh, the second uh, series up. At some point, we will. Thanks, Darius. 
Thanks for that. Waiting for order. Uh, if you cannot get past the rail guns. Go this way. Okay. Going full throttle. Thank you. Order. Now, let's pull these rail guns down first. That's going to be heat. That won't be. Moving to position. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Are you serious? You fucking guy. Three hundred, huh? Really? Thank God for ER large lasers, and we don't, we can't see that guy. Fucking shit. I can see this guy though. Aye, aye. Only one hit, huh? Okay, they can't see us, thank goodness. Let's get you going this way. Alright, hopefully pull this turret down. Thank you. Freaking railgun turrets. Mediums, please. Got it. Yeah, anyway, uh, my youngest today had their first day on a movie set. I know I've talked about this in a, uh, in um, Night Witches, but if you haven't watched Night Witches, then you won't know. So they had their first day on a movie set today. Well, not movies. TV series set. They got a kind of a, a B part in three episodes of a TV, TV set. It's like a... Not really a not really a cameo. I don't even what, I don't even know what you would call it. Just like a bit part, secondary character. Yeah, thanks for telling us about those rail guns, you fucker. Um. So yeah, they got uh, and they did really well today. They really enjoyed themselves too, which is great. I've been on plenty of sets before, so I know what it's like. My wife was with them today. My like the company I work for has got a full production company, so I've been on plenty of sets, TV commercials, you know, movie sets, all kinds of stuff. So yes, Commander. I know what it's like, but they've never really been on a set. Well, they've been on a. They went with me to a couple sets. I had to pick up some hard drives and stuff, so they've been on a couple sets with me, but never really like acting or doing anything like that. So they did some voice work for us a couple times at the office, but. We had an, uh, an actor that was uh, a young girl that just was voice was just terrible. Um, never got a good take, so my youngest went in and redid the voice for for us. Yes, Commander. That's not say not to say that the actor was terrible. She was actually pretty good, but she just very melodramatic, I guess. All right. This is going to be bad. Yes, Commander. This is going to be real bad. Anyway, so, yeah, I don't have much time to do other recording. Here they come. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh, they're already here, buddy. You just can't see them. But I can. Timberwolf, eh? I'm not waiting for this guy to shoot first.
What else do we got here? Come on, show me what you got. Freaking railgun turret, man. I hope I didn't lose that mech. I hope Mockingbird's still alive. It wasn't a cockpit hit. It was right through the CT, so... I think she's probably okay. That mech, though. I don't know. Good thing it only had large lasers in it. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Move this guy first so I can destroy him. We're going to have to pull back along here. There's a guy up here and there's another one down here. So I want to kind of pull back along this way, keep this guy out of our sights. Pull down this guy first and whoever else comes in here second. Come on. Maybe it's a vehicle. Maybe we get lucky. God, that CT hit though. The railgun. Was this a Timberwolf C? Prime, okay. So we'll know. Unless one of these is a Timberwolf C, it's a railgun. Unless one of these is a Timberwolf C. We'll know right away if we lost the mech once we get the salvage. Man, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Except, uh, this is moving too fluidly, and I think the game crashed. I think the game crashed. We'll give it some time. I think it's crashed. It's not thinking because this is like the full animation is working really like properly. Usually it gets sluggish. Oh man, really? Really? You know what? If it, if this if this has crashed, I'm going to leave this. We'll restart the mission next episode. Because I'll leave this as just a sh sh this to show you what the railgun can do. Um, you know, if it did crash, then great. I haven't lost the mech. Um, doesn't mean I won't lose it next time to a headshot or something, but... Um, yeah, I think this is crashed. I'm not getting any chugginess. No, how you know how I get the chugginess when I do this, right? Yeah. Anyway, the the uh, TV series is like uh, my youngest is in is a uh, kid series, so they've uh, rented an, an entire old school here in Hamilton, an old high school that uh, has been uh, shut down for quite some time now. So they rented the whole building out, and they've basically taken it over and basically rebuilt it into a set. So um, the, the series uh, takes place in a school. So yeah, I'm not really allowed to talk about it because it hasn't. They had nothing has aired for it yet. They're still shooting the series, but uh, my youngest is in uh, um, episodes uh, 18, 19, and 20. So it's not meant for a recurring role, but if they do a good enough job, then the re role might be recurring. The producer loves them, so. Who knows? Ah, this is crashed. Alright, well. Yeah, it's crashed. I'll be right back. Ah, well, we're back at the menu screen, guys. Sorry about that mission. You know, I guess this episode is one of those cases where RNG, RNG Jesus giveth, RNG Jesus taketh away, then RNG Jesus giveth back again. So, it is what it is. Next time we come back, we'll take the same mission again. Um, so I'm really hoping to hear your comments about the dire wolf before then. Um, well, I guess I won't. Um, but um, if I do uh, see some messages on the dire wolf, maybe we start outfitting that tomorrow as well. Uh, like I said, I'd like to, like to try uh, some autocannon builds on that thing. Um, so let me know what you, what you think in the comments. Um, 
But anyway, if you liked the video, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.